<laughs> it's early in the morning, so please forgive us if we're a little bit all over the place. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's Mare and Siri. <laughs> so that's a good start. Um, we have, what do we have today? We have finishes. I actually have finishes. Woo! So, I think she actually deserves a round of applause. <laughs> I've decided my finishes are like buses. You, you wait for ages for them to come around, and then three come along at once. So, yeah. Um, two new whips. Uh, lots of haul. I just have a pile. <laughs> I don't know what's in it. <laughs> we'll guess. We'll go along. We've got some finishes. Okay. Yeah, the turtles are finished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> she has some finishes. She has some new whips. Some haul. And Just some stuff. And some stuff. Things yep. and stuff. Things and stuff and everything. And stuff. Okay, so shall I go first? I'll yeah. go first. Okay, I have my first ever Mill Hill kit. This is my first time beading, my first time working on perforated paper. <laughs> Lots of firsts in this one. It's not quite finished yet, um, FFO'd, because I need to actually trim around the outside, but I was too scared to actually do it and didn't want to cut through the. <laughs> Cut through all the stitches because I think I'd probably cry if I did that. Um, so yeah, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with Mill Hill now. I'm I'm trying to collect all of them. Um, I've got another one on the go already. And this is from the Woodland Santa collection. Sorry, I have to go into my pile. Woodland Santa collection, and he is I've forgotten what he's called. The Holly and Ivy Santa. So I just have to FFO him, and then he's going to be on my Christmas tree this year. What's FFO? Fully finished. Fully finished object? I don't know. I just, I assume that it's we fully finished We use acronyms object. that we have no idea. Well, what I hear mean. everybody else use it, so I just assume. I know FFO means that it's fully finished. You should, leave, you should look up these acronyms. <laughs> you shouldn't be using things you don't know what they mean. I know more than you do. Yeah, I um, <laughs> so it's not hard. <laughs> I so yeah, if it's not fully costume. finished object, let us know because apparently we need to know. Apparently just we been don't using know anything about them. cross stitching. <laughs> We're just winging it, and we hope you guys never notice. Except now they will because we've admitted to it in the video. Exactly. So. You could have just let me say FFO, and that would have been fine. No, I've got to call you. Out <laughs> 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 right, finish. What have I got? I have. I've been doing craft swaps because. Yeah, can show that off, can't I? Oh yeah. I've been doing um, craft swaps, and I recently participated in the um, adulting is hard swap. And I don't actually have that with me, but I'm going to include pictures down here of my finished pieces because I have them at home, and I've sent them off. But I received the coolest quilt. I have never received a quilt before. This is exciting. The back was dinosaurs, so I was immediately like, oh, this person knows me. And then, and then. How cool is that? Sorry. So I'm just going to punch you in the face. Yeah, fine. It's so cool. Like my favourite dinosaur and my favourite quote from Jurassic Park. Jurassic just... World. And Jurassic Park. It's Jurassic Park. Clever girls from Jurassic Park. Yeah, uh, it's the it's Richard like Muldoon. Path. No, Richard Muldoon. Is that not blue? Well, it could be blue, but no. It's, oh. Um... <laughs> I thought it was blue from the new Jurassic no, World movie. No, it's uh, Jurassic Park, the, the Velociraptor, when she's the lead, the pack leader, and Richard Muldoon has the gun, and he's like, clever girl. And he's no, got, no, no. I'm going to have to re-educate <laughs> now on Jurassic Park. But yeah, Jurassic World is my favourite, but yeah, it's specifically from assume... Jurassic Park. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I watched it when I was like eight or nine and I had to come out of the cinema because my mum and dad took me to the cinema and the Did Tyrannosaurus Rex came Tyrannosaurus. on the screen and I ended up crying. My mum had to leave. Sorry, there's a squeak. Well, I said my mum had to leave. My dad stayed and watched the rest of the movie. But then that's what dads do, right? Mums dads, are yeah, the, dad. Mums are yeah. the caretakers. I mean, I love my dad, but... Yeah, actually, we've just generalised the entire population. I know, right? I'm sorry <laughs> We're to any dads sorry. out there. Michelle, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. You've just gen stereotyped your family. <laughs> I'm sure we just stereotyped a lot of families. We have, but, you know. I, I mean, my, my dad is, is yeah. useless. And my so, dad, and dad is pretty useless. useless yeah. So we're generalising our right. own. No, I'm joking. <laughs> he is useless. Like, only she would be allowed to say that, though. Yeah. Mm. And you. I mean, to say yeah, I'm allowed to say that. Oh, yeah, it's my dad. <laughs> Anyway, anyway <laughs> on to 
my second finish. Woohoo! And this is my biggest finish ever because this is only finish number two. Four. This is my fourth finish ever, so my biggest one. <laughs> and it looks so good. It is Pretty Little Tokyo. Which I am in love with. I didn't actually do my finish, you know. Did you not? I showed my quill. Oh, I was like, yeah. dang. <laughs> well, it's like, you, you wait can now. get you. <laughs> dang it. Um, so this is Pretty Little Tokyo. It called, the pattern called for Oatmeal Ada, which I was going to do it on. But it took forever to get here, and I wanted to take it with me on a road trip to Belgium. So I ended up doing it on Cream Ada. I believe it's 18 count. I'm not 100% certain. Yes. Um, and half of these places, I mean, I love it. I absolutely I love, love it. Fiji. But half of these places, I couldn't tell you what they are, because this isn't for me. This is for my first craft swap. So, well, this um, is Tokyo Tower. And this is Mount Fuji. Well, I know that's Mount Fuji, but I don't know this. Yeah, this is Tokyo Tower. Yeah. It's okay. like the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> yeah, see, I've just Tokyo. been calling it the Eiffel Tower in Tokyo. <laughs> she has been calling it the Eiffel Tower <laughs> Because I, I don't have to. And Sakura Blossoms. I love this down here. All of this down here. Like the whole... It, the blossoms, yeah. I think the pink blossoms are my favourite. And this little Definitely. blue tree down here is amazing yes. as well. I love the colours on there. It's like my favourite blue anyway, so... So that was an awful lot of fun to stitch. And I love these little clouds. How cool are these little clouds? I'm just going to, yeah. Um, so this is going off to my swap partner in the next couple of days. It's a blind swap, so she doesn't know. She doesn't know it's hers, so it's fine. Uh, favourite things. Favourite things favorite swap, things. that's it, yes. So I'm working on my last, um, my small finish as well to send off with that, which isn't quite done yet, but it will be ready in the next couple of days. So, yeah, this is um, Pretty Little Tokyo by Satsuma Street, I had to think. See, I'm really not organised this morning. Satsuma Street. And now I want to do... All of the pretty little cities. Um, I think London next because that I'll actually London know good, what yeah. we can actually do. London. I'll actually know what everything is. So, um, so yeah, again, not FFO'd, but that's going to go in a hoop, and I'm going to be framing my first hoop for the first time. So that will be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Right, and my finish now. <laughs> yeah, now you're getting that I've quick. That, favorite things yeah. as well, and as it's a blind swap show you that I have actually I've actually it's an FFO it's an FFO mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> so these little sea turtles my partner is has put sea turtles as one of her favorite things so I thought mm. and I got this pattern out of a magazine I cannot remember which magazine because my grandma sent me like a whole stack about this big of magazine like cutouts and stuff so I'm gonna have to go through them at some point but this was one of them, and I'm quite happy with it actually. Can't wait to send. Do you have any other finishes? I don't have any other finishes. Well, no. I, well, I do. I one. had I had a third finish. I did mention I had a third yes, finish. Yes, you did. But that has gone off to its forever home because that was for a custom order on our Etsy store, which mm, is the first time I've stitched for someone yeah. else, which was scary and fun at the same time. So I, I can't think. actually show you that because that's gone already. And so yeah. So I did have three finishes this month. Uh, some people have seen this on my Instagram. Um, my personal Instagram, not the business Instagram. I have another finish. It's not cross-stitch, so if you don't care, you can just skip this part, but you better not skip this part. Because it's, it's the cutest. It is this little sea turtle. <laughs> He's so squishy. I'm sorry, I just keep touching it. But, um... I found the pattern online and I was like, I can't not make a plush turtle. And I've been a little bit obsessed with plushes lately because of toothless. But And he even has little shells, which took forever, by the way, and also was very messy because I had to felt the underside because I don't do fabric pens. I walk on the wild side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just a mess, so... <laughs> She's only just discovered the sewing machine. I have. She, I've, she I've sewed her first toothless yeah. by hand. I did. And I said, why don't you use my sewing machine? And she was like, no, no. I prefer to have the finished piece mm, of my I own hand. I prefer to hand sew. And then she started using the sewing machine. And I was like, why haven't I done this yeah. all the time? <laughs> so I should, the moral it's of this so story is I never listen to Mare and Shug. Yes. But, Always. Um, and then I broke two sewing machine needles because I was getting ambitious. So <laughs> the moral of this story is don't do too much before you get <laughs> 
But anyway, <gasps> that is my little sea turtle, and he will be going to his new home very soon, which is very sad because I just want to put him on my bed with my 60 gazillion other cuddly toys. <laughs> I'm a cuddly toy fiend. So, oh no, he's coming apart there. Oh, I've got some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Well, good. I find all the blemishes now before he actually arrives at his new home. Exactly. Mm. What are we going to do now? Whips. 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 I have two new whips. Where did I just put them? He's under there. My second Mill Hill Santa from the same uh, collection is a Woodland Santa. So this is what he's going to look like when he's finished. He's my favourite of your two. Oh, I, I can't like decide. I, I flip-flopped between liking him the most and then liking the other one the most. And then... I'm not the biggest Mill Hill fan because Mare keeps finding them on eBay and is like, look at these Mill Hill <laughs> kits. And I'm like, no, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the Christmas vibes. And then she'll find one like this one where I'm like, um... But they're not on Christmas, though. That's the great thing. I'm no, just newly obsessed with Mill Hill. I think, it's the, I think it's the paper. I just yeah. love working with perforated paper. You see, I don't know that I could... You should try it. It's it's a lot I easier than a, I thought it was going to be. I have a weird touchy thing. <laughs> weird touchy thing. I can't always right. touch everything. Swiftly moving on. <laughs> <laughs> my weirdness. This is... You can't really see. Yeah, have you got a... No. Oh, okay. This is where I am at the moment. So he needs one more boot. Fill in here. Fill in here. And then his face. And then I can bead. I love beading. I've discovered that. I was really intimidated by beading. Because I thought, oh. Now and these have a lot, and now no, now everything no. is just going to have beads. I want to bead everything, so um, yeah. So that's my second Mill Hill Santa. This one is going to go to Drew. Drew at Weasley Studios when I am finished, because he's also Michelle's having my other one, yeah. Because they're both also both Mill Hill fans, and Drew loves Santas, so yeah. So that's going to him. So hopefully, I'll have that finished in the next couple of days. Um, I'm going to do this one first. Uh, last time, I was going to say last week, but it was like... Oh. <laughs> no, it was only a couple of weeks ago, though. We need to get more regular with these floss tubes. Well, we're better than we were. If we haven't been two months in between the last one. It's only been three weeks, so I we think. haven't been disastrous this time. No. Well, I said last time that I had to unpick my um, <laughs> stitch along, which is finished ages ago, but I'm still stitching along. <laughs> <laughs> so I unpicked, and I actually have some more progress. <laughs> more progress I have like two letters but... well I had to unpick everything that was down here which was super frustrating but I need to start it up again because I want to get this finished and I've decided that this particular fabric is going to be my um, Dumbledore's Army one I'm going to do it again because I'm a glutton for punishment and I'm going to do um, the King and all but that has to be on my blue fabric from my Arctic from Piculus Plus just because I'm obsessed with House Stark. <laughs> and I will... House Lannister. No. Only Tyrion, though. I don't like the rest. Oh, and Jamie. And <laughs> <laughs> And I haven't seen season seven yet, so please no comments about Game of Thrones in the comments. Because... Leave comments. No, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. I had to watch all the first... But one to six seasons in she did. while season six was going on, so I was trying to avoid spoilers, and that was just you have no idea how hard it was because I've seen <laughs> all six seasons, not saying anything. We went to a convention and she was spoiled, and then I was I spoiled her once by accident because I can't keep my mouth shut. But also, and then we were at a bus stop once, yeah. and there was two two girls talking very loudly, and I was kind of like, I'm just going to talk as loudly as I possibly can and try not. She to was like, la, 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 la. I had to go out of the bus she stop. <laughs> I thought I told the uh, story before, but... I don't think so. I just got weird I don't know. Oh, well, 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 I probably told somebody, but I don't think I've told Floss Tube. How weird I am. Here you go, but, Floss yeah. Tube. Here's the weird thing. My sister was watching Floss Tube last night. She was watching our videos. Yeah, I know. I saw her comment. And um, <laughs> she, sent me a, she sent me a message going, you're not your usual self in your Floss Tube. And I was like, what do you mean? And she went, well, you're not crazy. And I was like, oh! <laughs> Wait until you get so further into So apparently, I'm like, here you go, Amy. <laughs> This one's for you. Yeah, there's just like two two people in our real lives, lives lives. Yeah, I found our floss tube, which one is just our, our friend, D and D friend, a long time friend, and he is our D and D GM. Yeah, found our vids, <laughs> and we were like, no, our lives are blending. <laughs> this is what I meant to happen. So yeah, hey, we're crazy in every life. So yeah, they should know by now. But, you know. <laughs> Welcome to the real. Life. <laughs> 
Next whip, next whip, next whip is, if, if you're in the UK, then you will have heard of the so-and-so four for ten pound sale that they had going on. If not, then so-and-so had a four for ten pound sale on Amazon, and you could get two large kits, two small kits, for ten pounds, plus a pound. Sorry about that right. brief interlude. Yes. Rudely interrupting I you. I know, how Very dare rude. they? Um... Yes, so they had a sale, two large kits, two small kits for £10, plus a pound shipping. But um, it was like you did. You didn't know what you were going to get. You could just get anything. And I saw some people doing it, and I was like, oh, I've got to do this. Because even if I don't like the kits, the fabric and the threads and everything else, it's going to be worth £10. Mm -hmm. So I really lucked out on my fall for £10. I'll show you the rest in a minute because they haven't started yet. But this is my next whip. This is going to be from my brother, and it says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So, we were having a bit of a rough time, um, family-wise, the last few weeks, and I thought this would just be perfect, because he has this hanging in his home, but it's just the words, there's no, you know, it's just a print, it's not anything special. So I thought... I think he'd love that. So I've been working on it. And it's just all the greens at the moment, which is like my least favourite colour. So my that's favourite been colour, so I... massively fun. <laughs> but finally, the sea is all finished. I've got the hedgerows up here. And I've just started on the house. So we're making some progress. So hopefully this should be a quick whip. It's, got, it's going quite quickly so yeah, far. I think speedy. I've only done six... Six or seven days on this one, hmm. so it's coming along quite nicely. It's the fastest I've seen you stitch. So <laughs> I, I think I'm getting quicker. Mm -hmm. I am getting quicker yeah. with practice, but this is, um, I don't really like the fabric. I've decided I don't like 14 count Ada anymore. I just used the fabric that was in the in the kit, and I don't like 14 anymore. It's too big, but hey, oh I did steal her Nader Miner, but as you will see in a minute, she I bought her a new guys. one. The one that she wanted more than she wanted yes. this one. So I borrowed this needle minder and, and then her. just never gave it back. Yeah. So I decided to buy her a new one. See? So, um, because I don't know how I survived without a needle minder because they just. I've ruined her for life. It just, oh, her. it makes life so much easier. So, so yeah, this is my second whip. So this is, I'm focusing on this at the moment. I've got a few more whips on the go that I haven't touched for a while, but my aim is to finish this as soon as possible. As it's a gift, but I'm also doing my Mill Hill Santa in between because I need a little bit of reprieve from greens and greens. And, and, and more greens. <laughs> but then hope soon I'll have the lighthouse, which is nice yeah. reds, and I like reds, so we'll be okay. So yeah, that's coming on, coming on pretty well. Okay, and so. my last whip, because obviously I haven't really been doing a whole, whole lot of stitching at the moment because of my swaps and other things but um once Angela bought Pretty Little Tokyo I was looking at them all because I'm weak and I have a thing <laughs> I'm a little bit in love with ice hockey just a little bit in love with ice hockey <laughs> and um in 2013 I went to America to stay with a friend and we took a road trip down to this particular place to see my hockey team play in their stadium which was Pretty amazing. That city is Chicago. I am a Chicago Black Hawks fan. <laughs> I have to put that out there. Um, we'll probably so, get some hate comments now oh, from people. That. <laughs> I'm a hockey fan. It rolls right off my back. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my best friends is a Pens fan, so we have a little bit of friendly rivalry. And when we get together, the three of us, I just sit there and She's be like, uh -huh, like face because they're just talking about. Sidney Crosby and Jonathan, Jonathan Taves. Taves and Patrick Kane and I'm yeah. just they're the only three I know because they're the only three that they talk about um, <laughs> although she has got me into ice hockey we I do have, go to the London Raiders occasionally London Raiders, which is, like, which is it's actually hockey. it's actually quite good but I don't know if I could watch it on TV obsessively no. but I, I like going occasionally my uni days <laughs> <laughs> Watching games live in the UK was very difficult, <laughs> especially when they were on the um, West Coast. 
Anyway, I bought Pretty Little Chicago and I have been doing it. I can't wait to do the bean. I, just... <laughs> I have a weird obsession with the bean. I'm sorry, everyone. I just have a weird obsession with the bean. Um, so, yeah, this is Pretty Little Chicago, which is quite cute. And I've been on the old train. I'm so excited about it. I'm, like, looking at everything going, I've seen that, and I've seen that, and I've seen Willis Tower, and I've seen this, and I've seen clouds. I've seen clouds in Chicago. <laughs> Do they look like these clouds? Because these clouds are awesome. How cool are those clouds? I don't think I've seen these blue weird tendril things going on <laughs> in the clouds in Chicago, but hey, you never know. <laughs> anyway, I'll take that off because that's my needle minder and I don't want to. So this is as far as I've gotten. Gotten. My English is terrible. I'm an English major, but I speak well. I speak well. Anyway, so... <laughs> I've started doing some of the Ferris wheel, and I've done part of Lake Michigan, and this sand, which I'm assuming is sand, but I don't know, it's orange. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's as far as I've got, and I'm doing it on uh, 25 count, because... One over one. Me. One over one. Yeah. Because I'm in love with 22 count and 25 count, because I'm... The smaller the better, as you have seen from my 40 count. <laughs> and I'm just... No, yeah. I can't. I can't do it. I, I love. It's I don't small. know. I'm just. I can't be working on the bigger. And I. I can do eighteen, but anything. Sixteen, fourteen, eighteen. I'm not really keen. So. Yeah. Twenty-two count. All <laughs> <laughs> Please ignore my. Uh, oh dear. See, told you I was getting crazy. Yeah. Um, and now. Oh. I have a ton of hauls, so I apologise. Um, these two things I picked up from a car boot sale a couple of weeks ago because they're awesome. Uh, this one is a Tudor Rose um, coaster. I couldn't think of the word. Mm -hmm. Because I love history. Um, the Tudors are, in particular, my favourite part of history. Um, and I saw this and I was like, yeah, that's so cute. I could have that. I'm going to stitch that up so I can have it in the office. Um, as my coaster in the office. So there's that one. And what else have I got? Ah! This. Hardanger. So I've seen loads of people doing Hardanger. And I thought, that looks really cool. I want to try that. But I don't want to do anything massive because it looks a bit scary. And you have to cut things. And I'm scared of cutting things. As you can tell from the fact that Santa still has, you know, great big border around him um so I picked this up it was like 50p so I was like well if it goes wrong it goes wrong and it's not gonna be a disaster so I'm gonna try my hand at Hardanger sometime in the very near future so watch out for that watch out for my swearing probably that isn't actually swearing well, you won't have I to do. suffer that I will yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Well, they're I'll probably going to suffer you, my and then Instagram I'll record you and then, uh, of, I hate this, why yeah, did I do I'll... this? Anyway, um, said yeah. needle minder. Yes, said needle said minder. Said needle minder uh -huh. arrived yesterday, which was good because my counselling session was poopy, so I was quite happy to receive packages. Mer messaged me and was like, your packages are here, I think it's your needle minder. So I was grateful for that. Anyway, this is my bee. <laughs> I'm so in love. I saw this one first and was like, it's a bee and I need it in my life. But you um, try putting it on your fabric, you'll be able to see it better. Yeah, that's true. No, on your... yeah, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> that's not fabric, that's paper. I'm just going to attach it to my project <laughs> like it was before. But anyway, I saw the bee first and was super obsessed with it because it's a bee. And I demanded this one, but it was out of stock. My life was over. <laughs> <laughs> She's slightly I dramatic. Am a bit dramatic. Um, so I bought the butterfly, and then this came back in stock, and I was crying about it to Mare, and she bought it for me so that she could have the butterfly. <laughs> so it was ulterior motives. No, I'm yeah, just kidding. It was. Slightly. She does buy me things, as you will see in a minute. She gives me things. But anyway, this is my bee. I quite like the fact that it's got the two cogs on the end. I'm very obsessed with steampunk. I can talk today. So, yep, I, I love my steampunk. So the steampunk fact that it's is awesome. Yeah. Mm. So that is my needle one. Okay. <clears throat> so, to the rest of my four for ten pounds, I did two because my first one was awesome. So I thought, you know what? I'll go for a second one. So, in my first lot, I got these four. So, 
got Mel Hill. This is done on linen, so that's going to be another first for me. See, um, and that's a Mill Hill kit I'm in love with. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'm kind of... Um, I'm umming and ahhing about it because, I don't know. I like it. It's cool. Mm. And it's just not my normal style, but I, I, like as well. I, will, I will stitch it because it's a good way of trying out some small... You know, a small linen because I've never stitched on linen. So, and it's got loads what of beads. Is it? Um, I don't know, you know. 28 count linen. Mm. So, count yeah. So, I have to do that. I'm sorry. Give that a go. What? I have to convert it into like 28, it's 14, <laughs> and 32. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. so, I got this one. And I got this one. John Clayton Elegance Collection, Little Hannah. Now again, this isn't normally my style, but I'm going to stitch her because she has lots of half and quarter stitches done on even weave. And I've never done that before. I've never done halves, I've never done quarters. So I'm going to use her as a practice to some other patterns that I want to stitch that are a lot bigger. So I figured if I can... Um, practice on here then when I come around to doing my mirrors and stuff that I want to do then hopefully I'll have got any kinks and worked out any errors on on there the mirror so, is coming guys it's coming. it is I will she is I will weakening her defenses every day <laughs> <laughs> I know I just sat there looking at me though but it then is. like other things come in the way like my swaps and then doing that one for Will. And she has this mirror expression, I've come to see it, <laughs> yearning, deep yearning to start stitching her well, I've, I, The thing is, now I've got the fabric, I was waiting for the fabric, so I've got the fabric now, but I already have like six or seven whips, and I don't know, I know that some of you have 20, 30, and I, that, it stresses me out, knowing that there are whips that I haven't touched for weeks is already bothering me, so I can't, I can't start something else, I have to finish once this project is finished, once the Serenity Prayer is finished for my brother, I'm going to be starting my mirror. Whereas I have I to finish. Just like a million projects. Yeah, you'll just start anything. Just start. You're like, oh, I'll just... I've got so many crochet projects and <laughs> cross stitch projects and just, I mean, toothless. Oh, well, it literally yeah. took me a year to do my sister's toothless. That is how bad I am. <laughs> so th be thankful that I don't have 16 whips on the go <laughs> because they would never get finished. Although you... it's getting that way. I... It is. It is. No. It is slowly. It is increasing slowly. Is I have a whole drawer at home just for the <laughs> Anyway, back to my... Um, yeah, sorry. I'll just keep right. interluding. Talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> and on my two big projects, big kits from the so-and-so sale, I got this uh, roses panel. Again, this is going to have halves and quarters, so that's going to be interesting. Lots of green. But no. I... <laughs> Fell in love with this. Oh yeah, lots of green. Lots of green. But there's like nice reds in between. So. Because it reminds me of my nan, who always had, uh, she had rose bushes out in the front of her garden. And we put rose bushes on her grave. And I've got a rose bush in my garden to mem commemorate her. So this is going to be a memory of my nan. So um, I kind of fell in love with this. So I was really, really happy and really excited. Yeah, you've got... <clears throat> They've got different coloured roses and then I love the daisies. buttercups and daisies. Yeah, I love the daisies. And if I'd got any of those, I wouldn't have stitched it. But because it's red roses, I'm going to stitch it because red roses Memories. is my nan. So exactly, yeah. Flower, I don't, I'm not normally a flower person, but yeah, red roses are my one weakness. So, and then this one is <clears throat> amazing like seriously i'm i'm absolutely in love with this i'm a little bit intimidated because you've got this there's tons of backstitch and beads and oh, it's huge yeah, and it's my first time going to be using anchor as well but that's fine um it's the maya collection and she is goddess lakshmi but how amazing is that like that's seriously amazing. it's going to look incredible so she's been calling me as well. I've got all these kits that I'm like, oh, you're calling to me. Um, so this is going to be my first time using Anchor. And it's also got um, kind of a shiny, I don't know what that is. Shiny floss. It's not. Glitter <laughs> floss. No, it's not. You know what I mean. No, I know what it's, you mean. It's, yeah. um, 
don't know if you can see from there, but it's kind of like it, it's shiny. It's not normal. See, we're showing our hostage ignorance. Yeah, I don't know. We well, don't know they all know I'm newbie, so they can tell me what it is. Um, so it's, there's a few skeins of those. So that's going to be interesting. I've never used those before, but this is going to be huge. It's like forty by thirty centimeters. So probably my biggest project to date. But I, I'm absolutely in love with her. So. I got those and all four of those I was like yep I'm gonna I'm gonna stitch those so I was super super happy with my because this alone I looked this up is like 50 pounds if you buy it as a kit normally and I got it for two pound fifty like <laughs> really um so I'm really excited about it. so watch this space because that one's gonna be coming soon okay do you want to do some of yours before I do yes please <laughs> <laughs> I have um I like cards a lot and I like card making as some of you have seen on my um what's that thing Instagram <laughs> I know what I'm doing um anyway my like I said earlier my grandma had got a whole stack of things after she died of cross stitch stuff and she had this she was like super in love with swans and it's a little card but it's a little mute swan um it is too cute and I'm gonna stitch that because I want to <laughs> and make it into a card. No, it just yeah. I don't have anything like Mare who's like, oh, I'm stitching it because it reminds me of my grandma. I would say that, but yeah, I don't have feelings. <laughs> 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 I do really. And then Mare was super nice, and this morning she has given me. Hmm? I'm always super nice. <laughs> She gave me these, which are two cute little hedgehogs in a sunflower and strawberries. If it's animal related, I will want to do it. She was like, do you want to do these? And I was like, you're asking me? If well, there were only a free little kit from one of my cross-stitch magazines, but it's not my but style. But they're little so. cards as well, so that means they can be sent to people. And she also gave me this cute little bookmark, which is a little bear with a hat. And it's too cute. And she gave me that right this morning. She gave me these this morning. So, thank you, you're welcome. That was one of my, um... Which one? This, this one. one was one of my, um, so-and-so things. It was the only one out of eight kits that I won't... Oh, no, there was two. There was two yeah. out of eight kits that I wouldn't stitch, so... And she gave them both to me. I did. Because yeah. she loved me. <laughs> and I left the other one at home, so I'll have to show you that, uh, next frost tube. So. Okay. Um, so, yeah, my, my last, um one because you've seen my serenity prayer which was one of them and then series got the two small kits from my so and so and the last one is this one and she is just amazing i am in love with this absolutely just saw her and i was like i need to stitch that right now and it is i don't even know how to pronounce that Luca, is it Lucas? Brodery in, I don't even, I'm not even going to try. But, um, anyway, here's the logo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's the logo if you want to. I think you've, I think you would have seen it from around, because I've seen others around. This is Anchor Threads again, so that's going to be interesting. And, I mean, my first time using Magic Guide on my first full coverage project. So, again, more first. But, um, she's calling to me and I really, 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 want to start her but I, I just want to start everything and then my brain goes no because then you have 16 million whips and you can't deal with that so it's kind of warring between itself as to whether to start She'll stuff. probably end up with I will I will I think I'm going to start this soon because it keeps I keep looking at it and I'm just like I need I need Every it. Every time you go in the bedroom. Yeah. yeah I need it. I need it. It sits yeah. out looking at me like you know it's an incentive. It is on top of the pile of, of my whips. I mean my to start to be like just to call me and I'm like yeah you really do you really want to start me so I'm absolutely in love with her I just I can't even I don't even know because like before I started cross stitching back in May I would have looked at this and gone mm. but then my 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 tastes have just changed completely over the last few months and I just I I, I don't know because I would never have stitched ladies no. not before but I just, I'm in love with this. Absolutely. Just, oh, she's just gorgeous. We have very specific likes. Yes. In what we cross-stitch. But we're finding a lot of overlap and, I don't know, I guess expanding mm. the taste. I think, it may, I think it maybe it's seeing 
people because when you look mm. at a, when you look at it like that it's it's kind of you don't get the full effect do you when you see someone on instagram or on, on floss tube yeah. and they've stitched it and you just think wow okay that looks amazing when it's stitched it yeah it makes me want to like samplers i would never have been like oh, yeah. oh i love it yeah. but after watching people on floss tube and seeing all of the samplers around i have developed a deep affection there are a few that I really want to do, but I need to not start them yet. Mm. <laughs> okay, you want to do some more? Yes, I have. Um, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery have been doing two stitch-alongs. Stitch-alongs, isn't it? Yep. I got that right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, and Mare wanted to do the Halloween one, and I was in love with the Halloween one. Which I've got, but oh, I forgot to bring it, so... But it's, it's not anything, it's just fabric. But then, they put this up too, which is... The uh, greetings from the Parks Club, which is going to be so cute because it's nature related and I'm weak. And anyway, I received the fabric, which is Spice <laughs> Lugana. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to say Laguna there. <laughs> 28 count Lugana. Yay! So um, I will be excited to start stitching that, except you don't get the first pattern until the 15th. So I have to wait until the fifteenth to start that one. Whereas Meg gets I've the got second mine. one on the fifteenth. Yeah, so. I've got I've got the first yeah. one of the Black Cat Society, and I bought the uh, fabric from Picture This Plus that went with it. It's gonna be my first piece of Picture This Plus stitching, but I haven't started it yet because oh, I've been focused. Mine. Yeah, all right. Sorry. <laughs> you want to do mine instead? Um, <laughs> no. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I haven't started it yet. Right, you want to do some of these? Right, these aren't, uh, what are we doing? Haul. This isn't a haul, but um, I forgot to do it just now. I've been participating in the um, ATCs, the cross-stitch ATCs on Instagram, which is um, trading cards, and you have to stitch little uh, two-inch by three-inch patterns and send them off, and they're based around themes. And I think the first theme I did was... Um, Halloween? No. No, Christmas in Christmas July. Christmas in July, which I created this pattern myself because I'm super cool. Mm. And it is it's actually Jack Skeleton with the sun around it. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to stitch, actually. I did it on 22 count, and um, which is why I can get so much on it, because I have to be extra and make myself work for it. Um, and the second one was... Disney fever. So I thought I was being super clever. <laughs> and I did Yoda because Disney now owns Star Wars. <laughs> Don't get us um, started on that. No. And I put, uh, <laughs> the fever is strong with this one. And as you can see, I've been like figuring out how I can make the lettering look better. And you'll see all the random scribbles where I've been fixing mistakes that I make. Because why fix them in the program when I can just fix them on the bit of paper and make myself work harder? But anyway, he looks super cool and he is gone, but he's going to Australia, so I'm not sure whether he's actually arrived yet, but he'll be there soon. I'm having a lot of fun because designing patterns is pretty fun. So, And um, I don't actually know what the new one is. Black like work. Which yeah, yeah black work, which one. I'm not doing because I have no desire to do black work. Um, but I'm ready for October. So... Mm. <laughs> okay, and my last bit of haul was a complete surprise yesterday. I was uh, I was at work and I got an email from Cross Stitch Crazy magazine, and I was like, okay. And it said, congratulations, you've been selected as a winner of two PDF uh, patterns by Doreen Jones. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I don't remember entering this competition. She turned around and went, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but I must have done because. I won. So, um, and Doreen Jones is your Doreen favorite. Jones is like one of my favorite designers right now. So I'm like, I'm so excited. Um, I really don't remember entering. I, I'm going to have to look at the magazines to find <laughs> out which one it was in because I, I, no idea. But anyway, I won Flower Girl. Oh, it's a little umbrella. I didn't see it properly yeah. yesterday. That's too cute. So you didn't, you kind of looked across from me. Yeah, I did. I was working. So it and it's good. got lots of, half stitches and french knots and weird things so that's going to be interesting she's so cute yes. and my favorite and the one i really really want to stitch 
is, what's it called? Summer Unicorn. I'm in love with this. Like, absolutely just... That back stitching will be fun. <laughs> yeah, won't it? <laughs> it's like lots of back stitching. So this is all going to be... I haven't done a lot of back stitching. But anyway, so, yeah. So I got those two patterns in the mail yesterday and... What? Sorry about um, that again. Yeah, sorry again. <laughs> busy, busy today. Um, yeah, what's better than winning a competition than winning a competition that you didn't even no, know you'd no. entered? So, yeah. That was pretty cool. It I was. was pretty excited yesterday. She, yeah. <laughs> all I heard was, oh my God! So when she says that, I'm like, right, okay. What it's now? either bad or good. So <laughs> do I really want to? Um... And um, we went into Tesco's and I was saying to Mare that, um, no, Mare was saying to me that she'd seen Cross Stitch Gold magazine. Um, Never bought the magazine before. No. And there was a pattern in there that she really liked and we thought they hadn't got it. And then she was like, oh. <laughs> I was holding off because I was trying not to buy stuff. And that like, is which one is it? Issue one four one of cross stitch gold, which has this pattern up here and this pattern down here. Because when she showed me this one, I was like, no, but what about this? You see, I like that one as well, but it wasn't enough to make me buy the a little gingerbread house sampler. But if you want to show your page, which I marked, she says she didn't mark. It's right in front. Yeah, it's there. There we go. It's a cover lady. I just have an obsession with ladies right now. Um, but she is called Lady in Red, designed by Shannon Wasiliev. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But I just, I love her. I don't know if it's the colour. I don't know, I don't know what it is. But, and again, I've not really been, I've not really been Christmas or Halloween. I've never been bothered by either of them really, massively. Um, but then I saw this and I was like, oh, I, I need to stitch that. So that's going to be... Another one that I need to stitch, so I might get around to doing it before Christmas, you never know. And I will definitely be start. This is Doreen Jones, of course. Uh -huh. um, and it is a little gingerbread house sampler, which is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with gingerbread. I love gingerbread. I do eat all the gingerbread. <laughs> At Christmas we get so much gingerbread and I'm just like, oh, you know I have to be. Between her and my mum, yeah, it's, it's, it's gingerbread, gingerbread central. Gingerbread. Anyway, I'm super in love with and the little lady gingerbread and the little man gingerbread yeah just yeah so I will definitely be starting that soon because I'm weak and mm. I have no self control over how many whips I start and I want it done for Christmas so that we can hang it up in the house yeah. for Christmas time so so that is that do we have anything else? no I am all done um yeah we should um I'll edit that bit <laughs> No. You're gonna show your. You're um, gonna do book okay, time. now we do book time because <laughs> I've seen everyone else on here do book time, and we read. I found some good books. A heck of a lot. We have. lost you, so. And we read a heck of a lot of books. Like we have, we keep going to car boots and just buying books. And my there's room mum's like a and my room is like a library. Yes. It, it, it it's got and I've got an entire bookshelf full of books, and then I have. Four star, four high, star. four high, two deep yeah, pile of five. books in my bedroom. That's mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm going like that because nobody can see my other hand. But it's it's got to be about thirty books wide. So it has yeah, to be, yeah. It, yeah, I need to downsize. <clears throat> and I had to get rid of all of mine because I lived in halls at uni and I couldn't take my entire house and my entire library with me. So I had to get rid of a lot of books, which was. Possibly the worst moment of my life, having to condense my book, because books are like my one possession that I will hoard. If I was a dragon, I would hoard books. Um, and not that long ago, I had Six of Crows recommended to me. It's a young adult book, and it is amazing. And I have started reading the sequel, which is Crooked Kingdom. And I'm actually enjoying it a heck of a lot more than Six of Crows, but I think that's just because... The uh, characters are established now, and you know, you're sort of in love, and you have your favourites, and then they appear. And I don't know; it's just really well written. It's a uh, Lee Bardugo. I always say her surname wrong, um, but I recommend this series and the Grisha series before it because they're amazing. And yeah, you should just read those. I'm gonna have to keep bringing like 
a big stack of books and just be like, read all of these. And <laughs> <laughs> um, we did recently acquire the Wheel of Time series. We did, yes. Because we heard so many people talking about them again and it revived my love and I read them ages ago. So we went And into, I've never read them. Yeah. And we went into a charity shop and they were all there. So we couldn't... We had to... Three for uh, a pound. I wasn't going to resist that. So, <laughs> so I got the entire series for like three pounds. So that yeah. was... Yeah. So yeah. Not that I've started them yet because I'm reading Victoria at the moment and I can't remember who it's written by. So... But... The TV series is on... BBC One, BBC no, One? I want to say one. BBC One with uh, Jenna Coleman and I'm in love with Lord M so if <laughs> all I hear is Wales <laughs> like Lord M <laughs> I, d- I, d- I didn't want her to marry Albert I wanted her to marry Lord M even though I know it doesn't happen because history but <laughs> she didn't marry Lord M, M. <laughs> but it's oh it's, you should write a strongly worded letter to I should Victoria. yeah I should be like no, the grave. change no, history me. could you go back and marry Lord I know Lord it's M. meant to be a historical historically accurate program <laughs> but I don't care because Lord M it's just because Lord M on the <laughs> yeah so yeah so I'm reading the book after having watched the TV series so I know exactly what happens but it's still exciting and every time Lord M it's like Lord M <laughs> but out loud yeah <laughs> our bedroom share a wall so you just say Lord M <laughs> Yeah, so but I have to listen to you wailing. She does. Singing. I, I sing. She... I know I wail. Just like, it can't even be called singing. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no. She probably thinks that we're, I'm torturing her cat. Yeah. I'm torturing Sooty yeah. because I can't sing. <laughs> but I don't give a damn that I can't sing. I will sing at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Usually in the shower too. So you'll hear just be like, Siri, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> but no. pretty much. <laughs> I don't. Sometimes I don't even realise I'm doing it. I'll just be singing along, and yeah. and she gets louder and louder and louder, and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> Usually I have my headphones in, which means I can't hear myself. I'm tone deaf. Yeah. I'm literally tone deaf, which is awful <laughs> for everybody. Yes. Not me because I'm quite happy. She's, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't hear herself. You should hear me when there's no one else in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I think our neighbours would object, but mm. I don't care. I like singing. Don't care that I can't. <laughs> Anyway, we veered off topic completely. I think that's everything. So I think we are done yeah. for today. And hopefully, next time we come back, she will have sixteen. I will have. <laughs> I will have at least one finish because my Mill Hill Santa should be finished. And yeah, hopefully, I think you'll have started this one and this one, and you'll have started your mirror. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't see it lasting much longer. To be honest, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cave. I'm gonna cave. So anyway. Yeah. Until next time, happy stitching, everyone. Yeah. And we will see you in the next time. Yeah. A few yeah. weeks, probably, yeah. because we are there once a week is... Yeah. I don't know. I think it's beyond us, because we don't get enough done in no. a week. No. It would just be, we have done zero. It would goodbye. be like, I've done work on this one <laughs> I've done one I stitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe you. Yeah, me. I would be like one stitch. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. So, see you goodbye, later, guys. Goodbye,